Okay, I'm here to show you how to run a test for Chiardia. Now, these are the snap tests that I ordered from RevivalAnimal.com. This is what the box looks like when it comes to you. And when you open the box, there will be packets that look like this. And there are about five or six of these in each one. I don't know what you call these. And then there will be silver pouches like this. And you tear them open, and inside is your Giardia snap test. Now, these can be a little tricky, so I'm going to explain to you how we do this. First, you grab the middle, and you separate this so you have a Q-tip. And then you have to roll the Q-tip into your stool sample. You try to find different areas of it. You don't want too much stool on there, but just enough. Slowly slip it back into the test tube. And at the very top, you'll see the red stick sticking up in the bubble of liquid. You're going to bend it to the left and to the right so now it's completely broke loose. And you're going to squeeze it. And when you do, the fluid comes down to the bottom where your stool is. I like to just snap it with my hand and then let go of the top and it gets sucked back up to the top. And I like to do that about, about five times just to make sure that it's mixed well. Okay, once you're done, the fluid goes all the way back up to the top, and you're going to want to separate it again. And here's where we start using the snap test. Now, if you'll notice on the top of the snap test, we have three chambers. This one here is where we're going to put the liquid. That's where you read your result, and that is your window that you look for the liquid to show up in before you push down. Back off a little bit. So I'm going to put five drops of liquid into the bigger chamber by squeezing the top. And I'm going to do six. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch for the liquid to show up in this window right here, the third one, closest to the word Giardia. When the liquid shows up in this window, I'm going to push down here with my thumb. And then you just wait for your results. You're going to want to wait about, about 10 minutes, and you should have your results. And I will take pictures to show what the results are.